Alright, what's going on guys? Um, I didn't think I'd have to make this video, honestly, but it seems I do. Um, I have a little bit of a cold right now, so please excuse my voice if I sound a little bit blocked up. Basically, this is just an update um, of what's going on and what's been going on and or everything else. So, as you can probably tell uh, from my channel recently, I haven't really been sticking to one server at a time. Um, and I have reasons. Uh, I do have reasons and I'm going to tell you those reasons. And if you're wondering, um, yes, in the background of this video is uh, Zamorok gameplay, but I'll get into that a little bit later. So, it kind of all started out when I quit Crandall. Um, don't get me wrong, I had a really good time on Crandall. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a really good server, don't get me wrong. It's probably in my top five best servers for sure, most definitely. Um, the b both of the owners are uh, amazing owners, and they they really work hard to um, you know make sure their server uh, thrives in the community, and uh, I do respect them for that. And it is a really, really, really good server. But um, I just got a little bit bored of it, unfortunately. Um, so I ended up quitting that. Uh, I think I did a giveaway. Not too sure. Yeah, I did. I gave away everything. So. I've quit that, and after that, it kind of just, that's when it kind of happened. Um, if I just go onto my uh, YouTube here, um, this this uh, commentary is going to be recorded uh, separate uh, from the gameplay you see, um, from the gameplay you're watching. Um, so if I go onto my YouTube, uh, my internet's kind of shit though. So it's going to take me like five minutes to get onto that. Yeah, so after I quit Crandor, I think the first video that I made after that was a uh, Furious PK video by the looks of things. Uh, let me just double check that. Oh my god, my Rune Live Progress 4 has 4.4k views. How did that happen, honestly? Oh no, it was Rune Dream, sorry. Sorry, that's my bad. Rune Dreams. I completely forgot about Rune Dreams. Yeah, so I quit Crandall. I was having a really good time on Crandall, but I quit Crandall. Went on to Rune Dreams. Now, Rune Dreams was really fun. And I was having a really good time. But there's not enough players. There's just not enough people to play with. Like, it's... I don't understand why, actually. Because the server... Rune Dreams, if you didn't know, that, that server is insane it is really well coded it's again the uh, owner uh, Seba and I can't remember the other guy's name because um, whenever I would uh, need help I would always go to Seba um, but both of the owners on there they're really good as well just like Crandor they're dedicated they're motivated and the uh, Rune Dreams is actually an insane server it is really good so um yeah, I started playing Rune Dreams for a little bit, and then I realised that there wasn't enough players, and I wasn't really having fun, so I quit that as well. And then, after Rune Dreams, I was approached by um, one of the managers at Furious PK, and he asked me if I could make a video for Furious PK. Now, at the time, I wasn't aware that the server was um, a rat or whatever it is. I only recently found out. Uh, loads of people had been telling me through Skype, like, why are you making videos for the server? It's a rat, blah, blah, blah. And uh, someone eventually showed me um, full proof uh, that it was. Uh, so I did a couple um, videos. I think it was three videos for uh, Furious PK. And they didn't get... Um, very good feedback obviously there, there was a, quite a few dislikes on all of the videos because I found out um, the server is in fact a um, rat or something so um, to anyone that has um, downloaded the client because of me uh, you may want to delete it as soon as because it is a rat and you know you don't really want that on your computer and I do apologize to anyone that um, has been ratted because of me, but you can 
like as you as you know I, I had no idea what it was so yeah um, after that um, it was rune rune live and um, RSPSPK uh, RSPSPK oh, oh boy basically um, I offer promotions uh, if you've You've probably, if you're an RSPS YouTuber watching this, you've probably seen uh, Big Boy PVM's um, video on the truth about um, RSPS YouTubers or something like that. A shout out to Big Boy actually, because I actually really enjoy his videos. But uh, he mentions that um, it's not selling out if you um, take money for advertisements. That's completely fine, and I do agree with him to a certain extent. But um, yeah, I was um, approached by one of the owners of RSPSBK. I'm not going to say his name uh, for privacy reasons. But um, he offered me money to make videos for um, this server. And I said, um, yeah, sure. Because when you're approached by someone and they offer you money for doing something that you love, you're not going to turn it down. So um, I accepted his money. Um, and then I made the first RSPSPK video, which was the service spotlight video. And um, here's how um, my promotions work. I actually have a, pay a linked page uh, on my YouTube channel. Um, I offer, however, depending on how long the video is, um, it's a certain price. I accept PayPal money or in-game donations if I like your server. But if you um, pay with an in-game donation, the price doubles because you know it's not coming out of your own pocket, and it's just it's just it seemed logical to me. It seemed fair to me, so I um, made that little rule. And he he paid with in-game donation. Um, he gave me one bill cash, uh, but this was before I made that little promotions page because. Um, I was actually around that time. I was actually having a lot of requests. Um, a lot of people wanted to pay me for, to uh, make videos for their server, and so I made that promotions page just to make it a little bit easier for myself. Um, so yeah, he gave me one bill cash, and everything was going great and stuff. Um, and then he said, uh, "Yo, how would you feel about making a series?" And I thought, "Yeah, RSP, RSPSPK. I really enjoy this server. I'll, I'll do a series on it for sure." And um, he paid me um, with in-game again. Um, I think it was like a $400 donation or something for a uh, five-episode series. Each uh, video would be uh, at least 15 minutes long. And that's what uh, the Gear Up series would have been. And yes, it would have been. I got... Um, hacked on RSPSBK um, and I went to um, the owner about it and I said uh, yo I've been hacked um, do you think you could get my account back and stuff and he said um, he gave me a little bit of shit uh, I'm not sure why but he eventually got my account back and I was like alright uh, appreciate it and whatnot and then I realized that every single one of my items had um, gone with it as as it as they do when you get hacked um, and part of the gear up series was I took the five I had five special weapons the Absol dagger the AGS the Absol bludgeon the dragon war hammer and the DDS and all of those items have gone as well as um, the items I purchased through the net the donator store from the points that he paid me to make this series for. And I said, okay, um, all my items are gone. Um, do you know, do you want to refund them? And he said, no. And I said, hang on a minute. I, I can't finish your series if you don't refund the items. And even if you do, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna slow walk you a bit because your payment has just gone. It's been stolen. You, you know, you're you're the owner, you should make sure that your server is a little bit more secure. Uh, you should put like um, like on Rune Dreams, it, you, you put in your password and then you're supposed to put in a little pin after. 
I'm not giving the guy shit or anything, but the way he handled this was really bad. And he refused to um, refund any items whatsoever. I literally had um, two Furies and a pair of Torag's legs or something. And I had none of the five special weapons besides the DDS that I needed to continue the series. So I, there was no way I could do it anyway. I said, mate, if I'll give it to you straight up. If you don't refund my items, I'm not going to finish your series. And he said he wouldn't, so I said, that's fine. So there's no more RSPSPK videos. That's, that's just gone. Uh, I really don't like the way that was handled. And to be honest, I don't have much respect for the way it was handled either. Then we move on to Rune Live. Now... Rune Live, I, I really like Rune Live, but I have a habit of um, donating. <laughs> I have a habit of donating to servers and then getting bored of them because I've donated. So, what I might do is um, move all my donated items onto a separate account and uh, just start from like zero. But another thing I don't like is the economy. Um, it's really, it's, it's quite bad to be honest, you shouldn't have to pay like 80 bill for certain items. Uh, the economy isn't very stable and it, it's, I don't know, I just don't like it when it's like that. I like prices to be stable, like you should be paying 5 bill max for like party hats and stuff. You shouldn't have to pay like... 30 bill for a pair of fucking for like a weapon. It's just it's ridiculous in my opinion So um, there might be a shortage of rune live videos as well But uh, I will still be playing rune live because I do enjoy that server But the uh, main thing this video is about is uh, my return to Zamorak um, It's been requested quite a bit and I'm actually happy to announce that I finally I will be finally uh, returning. Titan, the uh, owner of Zamorok, uh, he's actually uh, come to me on the, on a few occasions and said, um, "Yo, uh, do you want to come back?" And I, I've given it thought. And the reason um, I didn't want to go back is because. A lot of, you have to understand, when I was playing Zamorok, it was, I was having such a good time. And my channel was doing really well, and it's, the Zamorok is a server that started my channel. And I quit for a ridiculous reason, and um, when I found out that all my friends had quit, I didn't want to come back. So when he said, yo, do you want to come back? I said, no, it's not the same for me. And that was true. And then he asked me again, and I turned him down again, unfortunately. But then I was bored one night, and I just logged on to Zamorok, and I saw that Ashley was online. And if you didn't know, I was a server support on Zamorok, and I got, got promoted at the same time as Ashley did. We both got promoted to server support at the same time. And I was like, oh, look, Ashley still plays. That's pretty cool. So I messaged him, and I was like, um... Yo, it's been a long time, and he he got my reaction, uh, his reaction uh, was priceless, and he was like, oh, I still watch your videos, um, holy shit, I can't believe you're on here and whatnot, and it just made me feel at home, <laughs> that sounds fucking cheesy as fuck, but it made me feel at home with the server, I just thought, you know what, this is, this is the server that started it all for me, this is, this is my, these are my roots right here. So I talked to um, Titan on um, Skype once again, and I said, yo, I'm definitely going to be coming back, and I'm looking forward to um, making videos. Is there um, anything, any certain series you want me to do? And um, he hasn't got back to me just yet, but um, yeah, actually uh, donated me three bill, and... Uh, Titan actually gave me, um, he actually refunded uh, my donation, which was really good of him. Um, he's very generous like that. As you may know, he was, um, he, he uh, refunded all the ICOV donations, and that's just, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. So, um, he actually uh, refunded my donation of um, 300, uh, 300 uh, donor tokens, I think it was. 
Uh, he gave me a Hex Hunter bow and 200 uh, regular donor tokens. And I just want to say thank you to um, Ashi and Titan because if it wasn't for the two of you, I wouldn't have returned. And I just have the utmost respect for both of you, honestly. So thank you so much to you two. And uh, that's basically the end of the video. I just thought I should update you guys on what's been happening. Uh, with um, RSPSBK and Furious PK and all that, so yeah, from now on, Zamrock will be a priority. Uh, seeing as I'm fully back now and I'm having a good time, there will be uh, more videos on Zamrock. So stay tuned for um, progress video number 11. I can't wait to get that out. Honestly, I'm just so excited. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.